Uno, from Italian and Spanish for one, stylized as Uno, is an American shedding type card game that is played with a specially printed deck. The game's general principles put it into the Crazy Eights family of card games. The game was originally developed in 1971 by Merle Robbins in Reading, Ohio, a suburb of Cincinnati. It has been a Mattel brand since 1992. When his family and friends began to play more and more, he spent $8,000 to have 5,000 copies of the game made. He sold it from his barbershop at first, and local businesses began to sell it as well. Robbins later sold the rights to Uno to a group of friends headed by Robert Tezik, a funeral parlor owner in Joliet, Illinois, for $50,000 plus royalties of 10 cents per game. Tezik formed International Games, Inc., to market Uno, with offices behind his funeral parlor. The games were produced by Louis Saltzman of Saltzman Printers in Maywood, Illinois. In 1992, International Games became part of the Mattel family of companies. There can be 2 to 10 players. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Official Rules. The aim of the game is to be the first player to score 500 points, achieved usually over several rounds of play by being the first to play all of one's own cards and scoring points for the cards still held by the other players. The deck consists of 108 cards, four each of Wild and Wild Draw 4, and 25 each of four different colors red, yellow, green, blue. Each color consists of one zero, two each of one through nine, and two each of Skip draw two, and reverse. These last three types are known as action cards. To start a hand, seven cards are dealt to each player, and the top card of the remaining deck is flipped over and set aside to begin the discard pile. The player to the dealer's left plays first unless the first card on the discard pile is an action or wild card see below. On a player's turn, they must do one of the following. Play one card matching the discard in color, number, or symbol. Play a wild card, or a playable wild draw four card see restriction below. Draw the top card from the deck, then play it if possible play proceeds clockwise around the table. Action and wild cards have the following effects. A player who draws from the deck must either play or keep that card and may play no other card from their hand on that turn. A player may play a wild card at any time, even if that player has other playable cards. A player may play a wild draw four card only if that player has no cards matching the current color. The player may have cards of a different color matching the current number or symbol or a wild card and still play the wild draw four card. A player who plays a wild draw four may be challenged by the next player in sequence see penalties to prove that their hand meets this condition. If the entire deck is used during play, the top discard is set aside and the rest of the pile is shuffled to create a new deck. Play then proceeds normally. It is illegal to trade cards of any sort with another player. A player who plays their next to last card must call Uno as a warning to the other players. The first player to get rid of their last card, going out, wins the hand and scores points for the cards held by the other players. Number cards count their face value, all action cards count 20, and wild and wild draw 4 cards count 50. If a draw 2 or wild draw 4 card is played to go out, the next player in the sequence must draw the appropriate number of cards before the score is tallied. The first player to score 500 points wins the game. Topic. Penalties. If a player does not call Uno after laying down their next to last card and is caught before the next player in sequence takes a turn i.e., plays a card from their hand, draws from the deck, or touches the discard pile, they must draw two cards as a penalty. If the player is not caught in time subject to interpretation or remembers to call Uno before being caught, they suffer no penalty. If a player falsely calls Uno while having multiple cards in their hand, they must draw two cards. If a player plays a wild draw four card, the following player can challenge its use. The player who used the wild draw four must privately show their hand to the challenging player, in order to demonstrate that they had no matching colored cards. If the challenge is correct, then the challenged player draws four cards instead. If the challenge is wrong, then the challenger must draw six cards, the four cards they were already required to draw plus two more cards.
Topic: <laughs> Two-player game. In a two-player game, the reverse card acts like a skip card. When played, the other player misses a turn. Topic: House rules. The following house rules are suggested in the Uno rulebook to alter the game. Progressive Uno: If a draw card is played and the following player has the same card, they can play that card and stack the penalty, which adds to the current penalty and passes it to the following player. 7-0: When a certain card is played, the player is able to trade hands with another player or with all players. For example, the person who played the 7 card is able to switch all of their cards with another player, the player who played the 0 card is able to make every player exchange all their cards to the next player. Jump in, if a player has exactly the same card both number and color as the top card of the discard pile, they may play it immediately, even if it is not their turn. The game then continues as if that player had just taken their turn. Strategies A strategy at Uno may be offensive aiming to go out, or defensive aiming to minimize the value of one's hand, in the event that another player goes out, thus getting those points. Part of the skill of playing Uno is knowing when to adopt an offensive or defensive strategy. An offensive strategy would be holding on to wild and wild draw four cards because they can be played near the end of the hand in order to go out when it's harder to play a matching card. However, a defensive strategy would advise getting rid of such cards early, because they have a high point value. A defensive strategy would advise playing a high card in order to reduce the point value of the hand. However, an offensive strategy would suggest playing a zero when the player wants to continue on the current color, because it is less likely to be matched by another zero of a different color there is only one zero of each color, but two of each one to nine. A player holding only one card is required to call out. Uno, or risk being penalized if caught. A player who calls Uno risks being the target of concerted action by the other players, who may be able to use action cards to prevent that player from going out. Depending on the level and seriousness of play, some players may deliberately avoid saying Uno in the hope of avoiding detection and then going out on the next turn. For this reason, it is useful to conceal how many cards are in your hand and to keep track of how many cards every other player holds. Little has been published on the optimal strategy for the game of Uno. Simulations of games may shed some light on the matter. Attempts to reduce point count in a player's hands can be read by other players if too transparent. This information can be exploited by other players, and it follows that a mixed strategy may be more appropriate. Some work has been done into the psychology of UNO as it relates to individual and group behavior. Players may exhibit physical tells, in which a subtle, often repeated, cue inadvertently reveals their state of mind during a game. Alternatively, they may change their playing style, switching from an aggressive card-shedding strategy to a more subdued one, or vice versa. Topic. Card and deck styles. The new UNO action cards bear symbols which denote their action, except for the wild cards which still bear the word WILD. Before the design change, such cards in English versions of the game had letters only. Especially old English versions can be denoted by the absence of the white rim that surrounds the edge of most UNO cards. Other versions use symbols and images in both old and new designs, especially ones with wild cards that do not bear the word WILD. The Xbox 360 version of the game uses the new English style of the cards. There are also language-free versions of the newer styles that do not bear the word wild, but have the same styling. There is a new version called Uno Mod, where the cards have symbols instead of letters or numbers. This version also comes in a red and white case. It is one of several mod. Games by Mattel, the others being Othello game mod, Apples to Apples mod, Phase 10 mod, and Skip Bow mod. Topic. Theme packs There are many different themes and versions of Uno. These theme games may come with slightly different directions and special cards. 
Note, asterisk indicates hit entertainment character, by which Mattel acquired hit in 2012. Topic. Themed My First Uno games Card sets only have 36 cards designed for children at least 3 years of age. These sets come in several variants, based on titles for children. My First Uno versions Topic. Themed video games Uno versions available on the Xbox 360. Topic: <inaudible> Themed sports teams. Several sports teams each have 112 card sets featuring players from those teams. The special cards in each deck vary depending on the card set itself. The following teams have confirmed Uno sets. Topic. Special UNO games Topic. Video games Topic. Variations Many variations from standard gameplay exist, such as Elimination Uno, Speed Uno, French Uno, Pirate Uno, and Pakistani Uno. In 2018, Mattel released a spin off of Uno entitled Dose. The game is differentiated primarily by having a center row of discard piles, where pairs of cards that add up to the sum of a card on the top of one of the piles may be discarded. Uno, slots In 2002, International Gaming Technology IGT released a video slot machine based on Uno. <laughs> Uno, the game show In March 2013, it was announced that Mattel and the Gurren Company are teaming up to create a game show based on Uno where contestants will match colors, numbers and wits for a shot at a big cash prize. The show would be produced as a half-hour daily strip with a $100,000 cash jackpot along with a primetime version in which contestants competed for $1 million. However, the idea was scrapped later on. Topic. Similar games Uno is a member of the Shedding family of card games. The Shedding family of card games consists of games where the objective is to get rid of all your cards while preventing the other players from getting rid of their cards. <laughs> Notes <laughs>